if you don't have skill, sorry, sorry, sorry. They will bypass you and pick the person who has the skill. Then you will get angry and say, hey, it's racial discrimination. Yeah, sometimes it could be. But you see, the Bible says a man's gift makes room for him. And brings, he sees thou a man who is diligent in all of his ways. He will not stand before ordinary people. He will stand before great men. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Some other people, the other thing that is working for them is their ability. Somebody say ability. Skill is different from ability. David had ability. He even said one time, he said, I can shoot an arrow. I can shoot an arrow to bring anything down. And then there is your habit. The Bible says of Jesus, as his manner was. As his manner was. Some people sleep until the cows come home. Some people sleep until it's time to start another day. And they don't realize that those habits are stopping them as his manner was. Jesus should have looked at the fact that he had 12 apostles around him. He prayed more than they prayed. Never needed the prayer. He is God. But he prayed more than they prayed. He waited on God more than they waited. He cried to God. The Bible will say all night he prayed. Early in the morning, he prayed. There are times his disciples will wake up looking for him. They know the mountain to go look for him. Stop allowing excuses. Stop telling. I see people today, they are 45. I'm old, you know. I'm just too old. Where have you reached? And suppose God gives you long life and you live until you are 100. And you've retired yourself in your mind at the age of 45. It means the remaining 55 years is a liability. Somebody say, I'm strong. I'm, strong. I'm, young. I'm young. I've looked into this church. Today. I don't see any old person. I only see beautiful senior citizens. Put your hands together for them. Come on. Praise God. The Journey, a life-changing series of messages guaranteed to challenge you to your God-ordained destination. You to God's dream for your life. Why? Because anything you want to become in your lifetime has to do with your decision no man absolutely no man is hopeless strategize develop and fulfill your future get this series today discover that you can activate defining moments walk in faith make better choices if it's in your destiny it will come to pass keep pursuing what other people see you'll never arrive at where God wants you to be get this series today call now quoting the reference number on the screen life is a journey not a short walk the journey where you are where you are going continuing with today's message These are the things that stop us. Let me go through them again. Your personality, your temperament, your skill, if you have it or not, your ability, if you have it or not, your habits, good or bad, they are either stopping you or stepping you up. But then there is your education. This made a difference between Paul and Peter, the apostle also. Two apostles, Paul and Peter. One was a doctor of the law. The other one was... uh, uh, general manager of uh, his family's uh, fisheries. One learned from the school of hard knocks on the street. Paul was a trilinguist. He spoke Latin, he spoke Hebrew, and he spoke Greek. Paul was a senator. He was a member of the Sanhedrin. The other one was a union leader, association of fishermen at Galilee. And you know the union leaders... Their action is different from a man who's 
refined in the four corners of an ivory tower. Paul was well-traveled. He was born abroad. He was a Hebrew man born in a Roman land. He was born in Tarsus. Travel is experience. It is education if you open your eyes. Because some people, all they are worried about is their excess luggages and excess baggages, you know. But Paul had been there, done that. He's seen several nations. He's seen how they do things somewhere else that is different. We designed a church for KRCC Lagos, a 5,000-seater beautiful church. Then I was preaching in Durban last week, Durban, South Africa. This is the flower in Johannesburg to Durban. And as I got to that church, they called the church building Jesus Dome. When I entered, it was truly a beautiful 5,000-seater dome, but less expenses than what we were planning for Lagos. I just told myself, all the previous design canceled. <laughs> Travel makes you save money, makes you see things. Paul had such opportunity. His education was not only in the school, not just the Torah, the Jewish law. He expanded his mind. He became a better person. As some of us, we've already retired our mind. And we're telling our mind, eat and drink, for the Lord has done so well for you. We've not opened a magazine in a long time. We've not read a book. 58% of people who leave school don't open any book anymore. And 10% of the creme de la creme of any society are people who keep abreast of facts, who are always reading. Again, yesterday night, as I was about to go to sleep in that plane, I needed to sleep so I can preach this morning. I look in the plane in the first class cabin. Everyone has slept. The last man to sleep is the man who didn't need to, to, to read anymore. He was the governor of the state. He was busy with some documents he had brought, reading and reading. I went to the bathroom, came by, he was still reading. I said, oh boy, I'm, re- I'm sleeping. I have, to have to preach tomorrow. Praise God. Now, some people... Who haven't even started life. They have retired their mind. Oh, they say, my head is too full. My mind is too full. No. The best of us only uses 5% of his mind. That's the best. All the Bill Gates of this world, the Albert Einsteins of this world, only use 5% of their mind. It means that some people's mind have not woken up. <laughs> it is still comatose. It is so porous, nothing can enter and stay. Tell your neighbor to change their mind. Praise God. Be awake. If you are in the choir, read books on music. Why, how do people write songs? How do people change their music strength? How can I get an anointing to really minister in the song I sing? What can I do to be better? If you are a choreographer, as in the people who dance the music to us today, what can we do to take it beyond what we have done before? Bless God for those who do it here in in London and in our church in KRCC Lagos. I watched their DVD, the ones in Lagos. I I mean, I watched it, I had to take it home. When I watched it, I had to stand up and say, is this KRCC? When I got there, I had to announce to them, that 10 of them, we are inviting them to dance this year at IGOC. <laughs> KRCC, uh, Lagos, Nigeria has a Christmas thing they do every year. They bring in all, all those film stars, you know, in all the, uh, the movies from that part of the world. They come to KRCC every year to watch our Christmas carol. When John Fashionu and some of them saw John Fashionu got up there and said, He's traveled around. He's not seen this kind of talent before. But you see, it meant that somebody stretched. Somebody went beyond the call of duty. You've got to stretch yourself. Then the other asset, the other thing that you have that can either slow you down or help you is experience. Some people say, I'm very experienced. But the the experience they have is a limited experience or a bad experience. You've got to get a good experience. Amen? Amen? Negative experience of life must not bury you. Somebody cheated you, abused you, took advantage of you. You've never told anyone that some close uncle even abused you sexually. That is not enough for you to close in and hate every man. Don't let that stop you from becoming a success. I see you get there. 
I see you achieving your purpose. I see you becoming all that God called you to be. In closing.